Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Midge. Huge thanks to Midge and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Midge reached out asking for a deck built around Agatha's Soul Cauldron, but left the theme and commander up to me. And so I went with the first one that came to mind, Obnixilis Captive Kingpin, the only planeswalker to lose his spark twice. If you're enjoying my content, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support, and if you like the deck list, consider sharing this video as well. Obnixilis Captive Kingpin is a 4-mana 4 4-3 4 legendary demon with flying and trample. Whenever one or more opponents each lose exactly one life, we put a plus one plus one counter on Obnixilis Captive Kingpin. We then exile the top card of our library and may play it until our next step. Agatha's Soul Cauldron, the card our deck is built around, is a two-mana legendary artifact that lets us spend mana as though it were any color to activate abilities of creatures we control. Additionally, creatures we control with plus one plus one counters on them have all activated abilities of all creature cards exiled with Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Finally, we may tap to exile a card from a graveyard. When a creature card is exiled this way, we put a plus one plus one counter on target creature we control. Okay, so we want to be able to do a single point of damage and we want to make sure creatures go into graveyards. If only there were an archetype that consistently dealt a single point of damage to each of our opponents over and over again, and helped to fill their graveyards with the bodies of all their creatures. But before we get to our deck list, a quick word from our sponsor, Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard is always innovating, and recently they have unveiled their new Druidic Secrets boulders. Turn your deck box into a mystical place. These gorgeous boulders come in a variety of colors and patterns, like this orange colored one, with a curious arcane summoning circle emblazoned on the front. Protect yourself from extraplanar entities and your cards with the new Druidic Secrets Boulder. Pick one up from your local game store or order one on Amazon. Link down below. In order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces, which is why I try to rely on my handy dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. One last announcement before we get to our video. I've started streaming on Twitch. I've been playing mostly Final Fantasy XIV for the first hour or so, and then switching over to making commander decks for future videos. If you'd like to see what I'm working on, check out twitch.tv slash Wildfire. Command Tower. Exotic Orchard, Bloodstained Mire, Marsh Flats, Scalding Tarn, Blood Crypt, Luxury Suite, Haunted Ridge, Dragon Skull Summit, Raucous Theater, Sulfurous Mire, Geothermal Bog, Smoldering Marsh, Tainted Peak, Sulfurous Springs, Blightstep Pathway, Rakdos Canarium, Rogue's Passage, Bajuka Bog, Nine Swamps, and Seven Mountains make up our land base. Mahadi Emporium Master, Ashnod's Altar, Pitiless Plunderer, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Indulgence, Rakdos Signet, Charcoal Diamond, Fire Diamond, Mind Stone, Worn Power Stone, Thrawn Dynamo, and Solemn Similar from help us to ramp out and stay ahead of the curve. Skull Clamp, Corrupted Conviction, Deadly Dispute, Lagamos Hand of Hatred, Morbid Opportunist, Stormfist Crusader, Body Count, Thrilling Encore, Big Score, and Jessica's Will help us to dig through our deck and keep our hands full. Molten Collapse, Rakdos Charm, Bedevil, Abraid, Feed the Swarm, 
Braids, Arisen Nightmare, Chaos Warp, Hero's Downfall, Dictative Erebos, and Grave Pact helps to keep our opponents in line. Blasphemous Act, and Toxic Deluge help us to reset the board as needed. Goblin Bombardment, Viscera Seer, and Woe Strider serve as our sacrifice outlets. For Aristocrat effects, we've got Zulaport Cutthroat, Blood Artist, Impact Tremors, Mayhem Devil, Mirkwood Bats, Witty Roastmaster, Sir Conrad the Grim, Spiteful Prankster, Vindictive Vampire, Keterect Parasite, Carter Doom Scourge, Falconrath Noble, and Sling Gang Lieutenant. Finally, the core of our deck is All Will Be One, Agent of the Shadow Thieves, Krenko Ten Street Kingpin, Krenko Mob Boss, Tybalt Rakish Instigator, Zeriel Archduke of Avernus, Ophiomancer, Raphael Fiendish Savior, Zerzoth Chaos Rider, Loyal Apprentice, and Pain Distributor. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 48 mana sources split between 35 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. A little light, but some of our card advantage also provides mana, so it's fine. 11 pieces of card advantage, one of which is our commander. 10 pieces of interaction, 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate in Pajuka Bog and Agatha's Soul Cauldron, 1 sudden I win card in All Will Be One. All Will Be One goes infinite with our commander, winning us the game on the spot. But Danon, it only deals 1 point of damage for each plus 1 plus 1 counter. What if one of our opponents has too much life? Well, in that case, we draw through our entire deck, cast Jessica's Will to add a bit of mana, play Rogue's Passage, make Obnixilus Captive Kingpin unblockable, and kill the remaining opponent. Commander damage exists for a reason. But that's just a backup. Our primary win con is sacrificing goblins over and over again, or whatever creature we happen to have lying around. With all of our aristocrat effects, we will quickly drain our opponents, and our commander will help us dig through our deck at an alarming rate. Do you have a deck built around a specific card that isn't your commander? What deck did you build? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash For only $25, you too can have a commander video built at your request. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jiraiya, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Borgie, Nazwin, Pedro, Tom, Midge, Detroff, Rally, Frank, Alex, Jenny, Alex, Julio, Michael, and Valeri. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.